Okay, uh, here's a quick tutorial, kind of experimental, on uh, creating a rhinestone template uh, using bold text. I haven't really done a lot of graphic, uh, tried it with different graphics, but you would have to experiment yourself to see how uh, it can be done. So first we do some writing. I'll write my name, I'll write my last name. I'm going to use kind of like a bold uh, font, like athletic font. So uh, I guess it works better if it's uh, no uh, sans serif font, no serifs, just, just straight block letters. Uh, so what I do is uh, type it in. You have to create outlines just to crop down the selection area to it. Um, then what we have to do is uh, rasterize it. Uh, rasterizing means we're making it into like a graphic as opposed to a vector image. So rasterize uh, grayscale. Okay, so now it's just a graphic. Okay, then the next step is you go to object, create object mosaic. Size is uh, in, in millimeters. I convert this uh, document to millimeters just because it's it's easier to work with the finer uh, measurements of, uh, on rhinestone. But with 216, uh, we're gonna do is divide it by if we divide it by four. We're about 50, 54 millimeters. So on the number of tiles, um, 54 tiles which would be about 10 per letter this is what we actually want so we'll do we'll leave it at 65 uh, you have to punch in the number uh, just whatever works for you click on delete raster the width we can do uh, that's the spacing between the tiles 1.5 1.5 should be the same. Make sure you use ratio. Ratio is going to convert the height tiles uh, proportional to the, to the width. So once we do that, we click OK. Okay. So now uh, it shows you dots here. What I did there is that uh, it's not enough tiles. We need uh, more tiles. We got to fill in some of these. So what we'll do is uh, we'll undo that. We'll try it again. Let's try 75. We'll do this at 1. No, we can leave it at 1.5. Let's see what happens. Yeah, maybe less, uh, less spacing. Okay. 1, 1. Use ratio. I have to change that. I forgot to do that last time. Okay. Um, so that's what we get. Now, once once we do that, as you can see, some of the stuff isn't even. Like the bottom area here, it's got a lot more uh, squares than the top. All that you have to adjust. This here, it's too close to the letters. It's got an extra squares here. That just happened, so we got to just erase uh, squares. So what you do is you ungroup. Some of them are white. It actually created white ones. Um, so you have, to, you have to get rid of them. Select one of the white ones. Then you go select same fill color. So it's going to select everything that's the same fill color as white. Then what I'm doing is I'm erasing clean it up. Um, get rid of that. 
we'll get rid of that. So you notice some are gray. Uh, we have to convert all of them to black or whatever color, it doesn't matter. So there you go. Now we're missing some. So we have to just add them manually. Like that one, we'll have to erase some. just cleaning this up okay we'll leave it like that it needs more cleaning up but I'm not gonna worry about it so select everything effect convert to shape the lips make sure you go by size the value around the rhinestone size uh, that's what you do uh, three point let's do two point eight Now this looks like it's going to be too close together. If you see that you have to go back to the mosaic and create this, change the spacing and maybe change the amount of, uh, of tiles that you used. So that's what it is. We'll uh, try it again and do everything we did, even the cleanup. For demonstration purposes. We can leave the spacing. We'll do 1.5. 1.5. The 60 is ratio. So there we go. Select, same, fill color, get rid of all the white. You have to mess with everything. I know that one isn't going to be right, but whatever. They're all black. We can try it again. Effect, come to shape, lips. I'm doing 3.8 because I know this worked for me in the past as far as rhinestones. So again, I forgot size. Make sure you do size first because it'll reset. Okay, 3 millimeter. There you go. Now they're squares. Just an effect that's making it look like a shape, like a circle shape. So what you do is you select it all, go to object, and you expand it. 
Once you expand it, it makes it an actual circle. So that's it. It takes a lot of experimenting to do. Get your numbers right. Uh, what I recommend is maybe get your uh, your size, have a certain size of uh, width of your design, and know the numbers uh, for the for each uh, rhinestone uh, size, and that way you can plug it in. You can take screenshots of that little window where you create them aside, and then uh, just save it, and you learn you learn exactly what numbers you need for each type of uh, you know uh, font or whatever you're doing. All right. Thank you. That's it.